Scott Tucker here with Race August Tucker. We have this amazing Eastern Black Rat Snake we just encountered. There's insects swarming all around us. There's people with all kinds of motorized uh, leaf blowers around us. Hopefully you can actually hear what we're saying. This is the most amazing snake in New England. Misunderstood, many people think that these things are scary and they're venomous, but they're not, right, Race? Yeah, but sometimes they bite. We got a giant gar snake back at home, and he bit me two times once. Snakes will bite. Anything with a mouth will bite. But this guy is not interested in biting me. He's much more interested in what? Um. Uh. I don't know. He's probably much more interested in escaping me. <laughs> He doesn't want to be with me, but he's actually tasting the air. If you can look at this, his tongue, he's tasting the air. He smells my bad breath. I never brushed my teeth after I ate. <laughs> oh, he's looking right at me. So the Eastern black rat snake is very common here in Connecticut. And it is a rat eater, a mouse eater, little squirrels. And rat eat and um, and a uh, chipmunk eater? Probably would eat a chipmunk or two, without a doubt. They're completely harmless to humans, and they're a valuable part of the environment. We need them here to keep rodents in check. So if you ever encounter a beautiful black rat snake like this, you just watch it, let it go. Odds are it's been there for 20 years if it gets this size. And first when my dad found this snake, it was shedding its skin near a, near a tree. And he also found a ringneck snake under a rock near a pond. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's right on top of my head. He loves me. <laughs> he loves me. You can see evidence of the shed right down here. Look at, look at how strong his muscles are. Look at this. Look at how strong he is. He's actually sticking out like a stick right off the edge of me, trying to get into that tree. 